Welcome to the Norwegian Joy. This is Jason here. I'm going to do a full walkthrough ship tour. We're going to take this tour deck by deck. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's start off on deck 16. I'm going to give you a quick preview. To the left is the aqua park and the hot tubs. To the right right here is the main pool. And all the way toward the front of the ship, take a look at this, is the garden cafe. Let's go back to the main pool area and take a tour. If you've been on other Norwegian ships, you'll notice that this pool area is set up a little bit different than the others. The only difference is where the stage is set up and the main pool area right here. The main pool is over to the right instead of being in the center. Of course, I'm talking if you're facing forward. So now is what they did is they are able to use the center to place lounge chairs. So you have a better view of that big screen right there, which is perfect for watching games, events, and movies under the stars. This setup also gives you more space to lie out in so you can get a lot more rays. Now straight ahead here over to the left is Waves Bar. It's convenient. You can come on right over here, grab a drink, and head on back to your lounger and enjoy the live music. Or on some nights, there will be dance parties here with a DJ. Now, if you look straight ahead here, we're gonna go right into the other pool area. This is the kids' aqua park. To the right are a couple of hot tubs, and to the left is the kids' splash area. Let's head back on over to the other side of the pool here. Take a look at the hot tubs. There are two hot tubs right here. They are right next to each other. They are right in front of the surf bar. So keep in mind, there are two pool bars, one by the screen and one over here. Let's take a look at the Garden Cafe. This is the buffet area. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and it is included in your cruise fare. There are other dining venues, which we're going to take a look at in a little bit on the lower decks that are also included in your cruise fare. We'll take a look at them here in a little bit. Keep in mind that the Norwegian Joy, the Norwegian Bliss, the Norwegian Encore, they're all extremely similar. And if you wanna book any one, make sure you give me a call. I'm gonna put my 1-800 number right there on the screen. It's really cool, is what we do is we provide discounted rates. We provide you with all the excellent promotions that Norwegian offers, but in addition is what we do is we give you an exclusive agency discount. Sometimes we get these discounts directly from Norwegian. Sometimes we put you into our group space. Sometimes we give you our own personal discount. But either way, when you book with us, you are always going to pay less than booking directly with the cruise line. So make sure you give us a call. Let's take a look at the observation lounge. Here you'll find plenty of places to relax and hang out. There are couches, comfortable chairs, buffets with snacks. You can also play board games. It's a lot of fun on a sea day. A lot of people like to come on in here and just grab a window seat, grab a Starbucks. Also in the front, you'll find breakfast treats like croissants and muffins in the morning. There's a nice bar where you can grab a bottle of wine or a nice drink. All the way here in the front, you'll find panoramic views of the ocean, which is amazing. Well, let's take a look at the Galaxy Pavilion. This is a favorite among cruisers. This is your virtual reality playground. With every single ride, you're going to wear virtual reality goggles. You can race against your friends, become the exterminator, go on a jungle ride, a roller coaster ride, walk the plank, and there is a virtual movie theater. Let's head back to the front. I wanna give you a quick preview of the upper decks. Right here is the Vibe Beach Club. Above the Vibe Beach Club is the laser tag area. Straight ahead here, remember we already saw this, the main pool area. Up above us are the water slides and to the left is the aqua park. Over here toward the back is the American Diner. And all the way here in the back is Spice H2O. So we'll stay back here at the back of the ship and start off with Spice H2O. During the day, it's a relaxing place to lie out in the sun. There's a nice hot tub over here, an oversized hot tub. Keep in mind during the day, it is only 18 and up. Now across the way here from the hot tub is a bar. Right next to the bar here is the smoking area. At night, Spice H2O turns into a dance club. Almost every night, there will be something going on back here. A DJ will come in 
and he'll set up. Now, on a special night of the crew, there will be the glow party where everyone wears a white shirt. Let's head on back more toward the front and take a look at the American Diner. This is a true slice of Americana. A lot of the seats are made from classic cars. There's a bar over here to the left if you're facing toward the front of the ship. And you'll notice that these stools are those old style stools that you can turn around in. Let's go ahead and head on over to the Pulse Fitness Center. This is the gym and fitness center. The gym is excellent. There are many different types of machines, free weights, and treadmills. Let's head on over and take a look at some of the activities that set this ship apart from a lot of the others. So we're going to head right on by the Ocean Loop water slide and take a look here at the Joy Speedway. This is the go-kart track. Is What's really cool about these go-karts is that they are electric, so they don't make any noise. If you want to ride the go-karts, make sure you make a reservation. Right in front of the go-kart track is the mini golf. The mini golf is right in between the go-kart track and Spice H2O. So you'll notice that on the ship, there is not a basketball court. Now, if we look down, we're going to see the water slides. Right here is the ocean loop, which drops you. And over on the other side is the aqua racer, where you go down on a tube. Take a look at this laser tag area. It's impressive. There are many different types of nicks and crannies, places where you can just hide and jump out and get somebody. Right below the laser tag is the Vibe Beach Club. When you first walk into the Vibe Beach Club, there is a hot tub, then a bar. As you walk through the Vibe Beach Club, you'll notice there are places to sit and relax, comfortable loungers, and another hot tub. The Vibe Beach Club is exclusive to anybody who has a day or a week pass. Let's head on down to deck eight. I'm gonna give you a quick preview. Right here is the District Brew House. Straight ahead is Food Republic. Over here to the right is La Cucina. To the left is Ocean Blue and Cellars Wine Bar. Right here is the Sugar King Mojito Bar. Directly across is the Cavern Club. Here are all the shops and the photo gallery. And all the way to the back is Cagney Steakhouse and Le Bistro. In between Le Bistro and Cagney's is the A-List Bar. Let's head on back to the front of the ship. Let's take a look at Food Republic. Food Republic is well known for a wide variety of cuisines. You can enjoy sushi, Korean fried chicken, or how about some noodles? It's really cool. When you place your order, you're going to place it right here on one of the iPads. Windows are floor to ceiling, so you get panoramic views. Right across the hall from Food Republic is the District Brew House. Here you can enjoy from a variety of 50 different bottled beers and 24 different draft beers. Right down the way from the District Brew House is La Cucina. This is the Italian restaurant. This is part of the specialty dining. On Norwegian, you'll find complimentary dining and specialty dining. If you'd like, you can check out the link I provided down below the description of the video to check out the pricing. And across from La Cucina is Cellars. This is the wine bar. Whether you're a connoisseur or a beginner, come on over and enjoy some of their wine tastings. Right next to Cellars is Ocean Blue. This is the seafood restaurant. If you enjoy seafood, then you should definitely dine here at least one night. Right here is 6, 7, and 8. This is where all of the decks converge and where you'll also find the Cavern Club. This is where you can enjoy the Beatles covered band. Make sure you get here early. The band is excellent and it is standing room only. Across the hall is the Sugar Cane Mojito Bar. Enjoyed a wide variety of mojitos. Also, you can enjoy Latin music at night and enjoy the atmosphere by a little dancing. Moving toward the back of the ship is where you're going to find all the shops where you can pick up little knickknacks and jewelry. Also over here is the photo gallery. This is where you're going to find the photos that the photographers took of you while you were on board. If we go straight to the back, we're going to run right in to the A-list bar. On either side of the A-list bar is Cagney Steakhouse and Le Bistro. Le Bistro is the French restaurant and keep in mind that it is part of the specialty dining. 
Right across the way on the other side of the A-list bar is Cagney's Steakhouse. Cagney's is a relaxing environment where you can enjoy a certified cut of Angus. Keep in mind that any of the restaurants here on Deck 8 go out onto the oceanfront so you can dine out here if you like. Let's jump down to Deck 7. Let's do a quick tour. Right here is the local. To the left is the local bar. Right through here is the casino. Going all the way to the back on the left is the Skyline Bar. And all the way here to the back is the Manhattan Room. Start off here at the back of the ship. This is the Manhattan Room. This is part of the complimentary dining. It's freestyle. So you can come in whenever you want, whenever they're open. You don't need to make a reservation. Right in front of the Manhattan Room is the Skyline Bar. On those big screens right there, it's almost like you're listening to live music as the bands play. Let's take a look at the casino. This part of the casino is for smokers. So here they have two sections, which is really cool. You can find all different types of card tables, slot machines. They offer tournaments. You can get into a Texas Holden tournament. You can get into a craps tournament. The tournaments are a lot of fun. If you're not sure how to gamble, they will teach you. Let's head more toward the front of the ship. Right here is six, seven, and eight. This is where all three decks converge. Right in front of that is the local bar and grill. So here you'll find a bar which you can order chicken wings, a hamburger, fish and chips, and there is also a restaurant. If you look down, that is the atrium. We're gonna head down there in just a little bit. There's a little game section over here, right around the other side of the local. So if you wanna shoot some hoops or play a fun game, you can head over here. Right here is the theater. Come on in and enjoy excellent shows such as Footloose and Element. So let's head on down to deck six. Let's do a quick preview. Right here is the atrium. To the right is guest services and the shore excursions desk. Right ahead is the social, teppanyaki, and the whiskey bar. And all the way here to the back is the mix bar. Taste and savor are on either side. Let's head on back to the atrium. This is a fun place. There is a lot of action that happens here. There's a big screen where you can watch movies. There are also other events that take place here, such as game shows and other fun activities. Before you watch a show, make sure you drop by the atrium bar, grab a drink. In the morning, you can drop by and grab a Starbucks. On the other side is the shore excursions desk and guest services. If you have any questions, you can drop by guest services, ask them whatever you want, they'll help you out. You can also find Cruise Next here to plan your next cruise. Over here is 678 where all three decks converge. So the first place we'll go into is the social. Here is the comedy club. At night, it turns into the dance club. So in the early evening, you'll watch funny comedies. And at late at night, you'll dance the night away. Right across the hall is Teppanyaki. This is the Japanese steakhouse. This is where the chefs cook the food right in front of you. When we were here on our cruise, the very first day, they were doing all the reservations in here. So on your first day, if they're still doing that, head right to here if you need to make dinner reservation. Right next door to Tipayaki is the Maltings Whiskey Bar. I highly recommend that you try their Macallan tasting. The bartender is knowledgeable and all whiskeys and you can ask them any questions. Right toward the back, we're gonna go through the art section. In the middle here is the mix bar. On either side of the mix bar is the taste and the savor. The savor and the taste are both part of the complimentary dining. It's part of the freestyle dining. So anytime that they're open, you can come on in. Keep in mind that the taste, the savor, and the Manhattan Room have identical menu. The Manhattan Room has the best atmosphere, so when deciding on which one to dine in, head to the Manhattan Room. Over here is Q. If you would like to have some authentic Texas barbecue with delicious traditional sides, come on in and check it out. The fun part about Q is that as the night begins, you can listen to your favorite country tune. If you'd like to have a relaxing day, you can head on over to the spa where you can enjoy traditional and meta spa services. You can also find a barbershop and a salon. Folks, thank you for joining me on the tour. My name is Jason Newquist. Remember to get the best rate guaranteed 
give me a call. My number's right there on the screen. Have a wonderful day.